rust. Rust is not good for anything, right? Today I'm going to show you why most cars have a problem with rust in this area and how to prevent it. This is good preventative maintenance um, and it, it will basically stop your car from rusting in what is probably the most common area for cars to rust, which is the bottom of the front wings. Now, there's a number of reasons why this happens and I'm going to show you that as I go and do this job. This is a really simple thing to do, so I hope you take the time to watch this video and do this to your car as well. Let's go. So why do cars rust at the bottom of the front wing? Well, there's a really good reason for that. You see, the plenum, which is located here, tends to collect a lot of leaves and dirt um, as you drive around and as the car sits around. Now, there's a natural drain hole over here at the edge of the plenum, and it basically allows the water to flow down and out the bottom. So what happens over time is those drain plugs clog up with dirt and you're basically stuck with a bunch of leaves and dirt collecting in this area. So what you need to do is once in a while just clean this crevice out and that will basically keep your drain holes clean and it will allow the water to keep pouring down without it collecting in this area in here. Collected water is what causes rust. You know, it starts a chemical reaction that turns the metal into rust. So make sure you clean it once in a while and this is how you do it. The tools you're going to need are a jack and jack stands, penetrating fluid for loosening bolts, a rust protectant of some sort. In my case, I'm using a fish oil, but motor oil, gear oil, Vaseline or other oil-based products are just as good, so make your own choice. You'll need a ratchet and some extensions, a T30 socket, a 10mm socket, a 7mm socket, a clip remover if you have one to remove clips with, and a small Phillips head screwdriver. Then you'll also want a brush to clean up with, paper towels or a rag, and some gloves and eye protection. So before we get to cleaning the inside of the front wings, I'll just say that you will want to clean out your plenum chamber first. You'll want to do this so that any dirt or leaves don't make their way from your plenum chamber back down into your wings. I've already gone ahead and done this, and if you'd like to see how to do that job on this car, just follow the link here. Okay, with that said, let's get this job started and the first thing to do will be to raise the car and remove the wheel and then remove the inner plastic guards. Okay, so now that your car is all jacked up, ready to go, the first thing we're going to need to do is take off this wheel liner. So what you'll need to do is remove all of these hex bolts just over here, or Torx bolts. On your car, they might be uh, plastic clips instead of bolts, but in any case, just get them all out because we're gonna have to remove this inside wheel liner. Now that the guard is loose, go ahead and loosen your side skirt if your car has one like mine does. Honestly, these clips are some... Right, so that's one, now for a few more. And once you have that done, you will be able to move the skirt out of the way and access the last 7mm bolt that holds the guard on. Okay, here is the moment of truth. Ready for this? Whoa, well, well, just look at that. Looks like I have a few eight-legged friends riding along with me. Just take a look at the spiderwebs in here.
and look at the other side. I mean, just take a look at this. The arch is literally half full of dirt. This is why you want to clean this out once in a while. Not to mention the spiders that have obviously been partying in my car. I'm going to go ahead and clean this out, but carefully. I won't lie, I'm a little scared. The thing about the spiders in Australia is they can kill you. this out. Once you have most of the muck out, wash out the wheel wells with some soapy water. This will make sure you blast out the rest of the caked on dirt and end up squeaky clean like this. Before, after. Worth doing, right? Just take a look at the amount of dirt that came out of the left side wing and the right side was even worse. This dirt combined with water makes mud and this mud sits inside your guard, rusting out your metal panels. Okay, now that everything is clean, let's protect this area of the car from rust. I'm going to use fish oil to spray the inside of my wings, so go ahead and use the same if you have it. Otherwise, motor oil, gearbox oil, Vaseline or even cooking oil is better than nothing. Really what you're trying to do here is create a film of protection so that when water shows back up next time, when it rains, this stuff will repel it. Do this once every year or once every couple of years and you will have zero rust problems. And of course, I'm showing you how to do this inside your front guards, but the same process applies to anywhere else where you think your car might rust, such as your plenum, the inside of your doors, the rear wheel arches, or anywhere else you think it's necessary. You don't have to go crazy with this stuff, just make sure you coat everything nicely. Oh yeah, and since I was in here anyway, I went ahead and swapped my factory amber turn signals with some blacked out LED versions. So wait. So now really you just have to put it all back together. The water tank for the front windshield goes in first, held by three 10mm screws. Also, don't forget to put the foam liner back in like I have, then reattach the plastic inner guard using the 7mm screw and the T30 screws. Then clip your side skirts back in, the wheel goes back on. And you're done. So that's it guys, as you can see it's well worth doing this, you don't want this sitting in your wheel arches, especially if you live in an area where there's salt air roads or you get a lot of moisture in the air. It takes just a little bit of time on a weekend, once a year, maybe once every couple of years and it's worth it. You basically won't have rusted wheel arches. Don't forget to treat it with something, whether it's fish oil, motor oil, gear oil, whatever you decide to use, but it's easy enough and um, it basically makes sure that you drive around rust free. So that's it for this one. I hope you liked the video. Um, and if you did, make sure you click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content from me. Um, yep, yeah, but enough chit chat. Go ahead and try this at home on your car.